Hello YouTube, welcome to another video. In this video we're going to be carrying on with making the new battery pack from old 18650s. Uh, at the end of the last video I think I got to the point where I just finished uh, one of the bus bars. So I just need to make uh, a positive, this one's for the negative, and then I'll start putting together a pack uh, so that I can get one final pack in its complete form just so I can get a complete idea that that is the right shape and size to go for uh, before I then commit to building the other 13. So let's get started. Good stuff. Right, now let's make some modules. So, we need one of these, but before we start, I need to drill holes uh, in here. I did a test hole here, like this, uh, so that the cable ties can go through. So we'll do that first. <laughs> So I need to end up with about 80,000 milliamp hours for each of these blocks. There's 40 cells in there and each one's got to be about, well on average, 2,000 milliamp hours. <clears throat> so uh, yeah, that should be 80,000 milliamp hours. Uh, so I will initially just put uh, 40 cells in here and then I will uh, total them up uh, and see how close to 80,000 I am. 
Uh, I want to be well, just a bit over, so maybe 81,000, something like that. I've got a couple of trays of cells that I've already processed and tested, ready to be made into packs. Um, if you're interested in how I go about doing that, I'll, I'll leave a link to uh, one of my other videos at the end. a nice selection of different cells. This one needs to be trimmed off a little bit. Right, so now I just need to total them up. So there we go, uh, 85,000 milliamp hours. So it's a bit over. Um, so I could either put some lower capacity ones in there to try and reduce it down a bit, or maybe I can just go for about 85 as the, as the standard. So I think um, obviously more capacity is better. So I'll just go with about 85 for each pack. So let's get the top on and cable tie the bus bars on. You need to remember to put the smooth edge of the uh, lug pointing away from the pack because that has to connect to the next pack along. And obviously making sure to get the positive end at the positive end of the batteries. So you want that there and that there like that.
go. These lean out slightly, which I wasn't expecting, but actually that works quite well because it will join to the next pack then, which will also be... So that works pretty good. So now I just need to hot glue the four cell holder on the side. So I've noticed that I have these ridges on this side, but it's smooth on this side. So I think trying to stick this onto those ridges is not going to have the best uh, amount of surface area to glue to. So I think it'd be better to put the to put this holder on the smooth side. So there we go, all done. I don't know how strong this will be, uh, we'll have to see. I might potentially have to put some sort of cable ties through these, uh, through these, you know, if you can see it there. There's some holes here, but I might maybe have to put cable tie around to make sure this doesn't fall off. But at the moment that seems pretty strong, so I think it's probably good. So that's it, that's my pack design, just need to solder um, all the fuse wires on this one and that's one complete and another 13 to go. Okay, well that's it for this video, um, hope you enjoyed that, please like, comment, share and subscribe, uh, I'll be doing some more videos where I complete the rest of the power wall so stay tuned, cheers.